so welcome and vitane to everyone who are gathered here we are uh, organizing an event to celebrate the polish science day and the india poland relations organized by the center for polish and central european studies the department of geopolitics and international relations mahe and the department of area and uh, global studies the faculty of political science and international relations in institute of international relations the university of warsaw so i welcome once again all of you to this celebration this event and i would like uh, uh, dr nand kishor who is the assistant professor and head in charge of the department of geopolitics and international relations to give the welcome remarks for this event uh, dr nand kishor thank you uh, dr anand it's a pleasure to uh, have all of you here my uh, at the outset uh, let me say a few words about the center for polish and central european studies um, and perhaps um, what better time to celebrate and what better day to uh, actually recollect and and uh, rejoice india poland relations than today uh, today being the national science day the polish science day Uh, which has happened to be the birthday of um, Copernicus, and that's one of the component. But we are joining uh, Poland in celebrating this one. Well, we are celebrating India-Poland relations. That's the idea behind. So, Center for Polish and Central European Studies has been there since 2013, in fact, and we have been having lot of interactions um, between University of Warsaw and University of Warsaw being the prime institution. Uh, with regard to mahe's uh, interactions in poland so university of warsaw by using different agencies within the european union it uh, facilitated uh, scholars and uh, diplomats and many others coming to manipal university more so to department of geopolitics under the center for polish and central european studies and they used to come and spend a week um, and give a certificate course and one of such person uh, is uh, peter who is also here and then ambassador thomas also came and spent a week here and then subsequently we also facilitated uh, one of his lecture at uh, mangalore university and he traveled there and the vice chancellor was also there uh, to receive him and then it was it was great to have him for almost a week here where he uh, spoke about his own research at the indian ocean and um, it has hosted uh, the former diplomats of uh, poland and it has been facilitating lot of things that are happening um it's not just to do with only the department of geopolitics but overall at the university there are so many interactions that are happening with the universities across poland and as i mentioned um we have all um, been involved in this uh, occasion and the and what we call as the polish brothers uh, one is yakub other one is kamil i have to uh, take their name and i have to actually acknowledge the amount of effort they have put in building uh, this bridge between india and poland and they have been um, great friends of india great friends of mahe great friends of department of geopolitics and international relations they have facilitated most of the things that have happened along with and they have also been instrumental in in carrying out the mous between both the universities and then subsequently in a formalized way though much much prior to that one uh, in the auspicious presence of our own a uh, former vice chancellor who has also uh, agreed to grace this particular occasion dr vinod but it was his brain child he was there and um, he formalized this one and then we had the uh, ambassador of uh, poland in india who also came along and then we also had the vice rector from uh, university of warsaw who signed the mou and then the university also formalized in 2018 it made it a full fledged center uh, for polish and central european studies in in a formal way when many other centers were also coming in since then we have had uh, a great number of interactions with the scholars we have also had student exchange where more than 12 students have come from um, uh, poland they came here for a semester we also could send around 3 students in a semester but subsequently it wasn't uh, really possible but in, nevertheless uh, we have been having interactions uh, time and again and uh, poland is uh, doing extremely well within the european union and it's garnering so much of interest in different parts of the world it's also growing in stature and india sees poland that way that is that was very clearly visible when we had that former uh, the present uh, minister for external affairs dr jayshankar's visit itself 
was one of such uh, important occasions that we need to celebrate. So um, the Center for Polish and Central European Studies thought that as part of its uh, initiations, we also had Professor Arvind Kumar, who was also instrumental from the side of the Department of Geopolitics. We had three joint papers that were written uh, by scholars in Poland and then in India. And it has taken shape over a period of time. We want to do um, better. We want to have greater interaction. So we thought when we um, rekindled the MOU between University of Warsaw and the Department of Geopolitics and International Relations, MAHE, we thought this will be one of the occasions to start off certain academic interactions. And uh, a culmination of that one is in the form of what we see today. In a very, very short time, we had to do this one. But uh, my, my special thanks to all those who agreed to be here today, starting with our own um, Vice President and former Vice Chancellor of Manipal University, Dr. Vinod, but he's been kind to be here. Then uh, my special thanks to him. So and also Ambassador Adam uh, Burkowski, who, who also agreed to uh, deliver the lecture. We were supposed to have much before, but he was also busy and we also got engaged with our uh, semester program, which has been going on for a while now. And then we also have Ambassador Tomasis and uh, he also agreed, as I mentioned before, he was here in Manipal. And then uh, we also have Yakub, a great friend, uh, one among the Polish brothers. He's also here. So we uh, recognize each of your contribution to building India-Poland relations without um, wasting much time between the speakers and the audience. I would probably want to um, open up for, for more discussions and the, uh, and the lectures or the speeches by the uh, invited guests. So over to you, Dr. Anand. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, so we will start today's uh, event. Uh, the speeches by first of all uh, having the speech from Dr. Vinod H. Butt. Uh, before that, I will just uh, try to introduce him. Uh, Dr. H. Vinod Butt is the executive president of Mahe Manipal currently. Uh, he has an MD in uh, community medicine and he is an honorary fellow at the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons. Glasgow. Dr. Bhatt has had a long and illustrious career both as a teacher as well as an able administrator. A researcher at heart, he had several scientific publications in both national and international peer-reviewed journals to his credit. With his rich experience in research, Dr. Bhatt has been responsible for the spectacular growth in external research funding attracted by Mahe. The research directorate which he has set up has played a very vital role in directing targeted research across all disciplines and is poised for a greater expansion. Dr. Bhatt has also established the Manipal Universal Press, converting it into a unique and vibrant entity. Under his stewardship, the MUP has published more than 90 publications in the first five years of existence. He has been closely associated with the raising endowments for Manipal hospitals, having been the chief medical officer of TMFI Rotary Hospital in Karnataka for 15 years, and then the chief operating officer of Kasturba Hospital. He has pioneered and spearheaded several international projects uh, in this particular sector. Most recently, Dr. Vinod Bhatt has served as advisor to Manipal Global Education Services. He also served as the board of the uh, Gyokti Universal, uh, Universal Institution, a uh, university in uh, Leuven, Belgium, and he is and the International Board of Advisors in the Global Next University, Kuala Lumpur, and he is also on the editorial board of the Journal of Rural and Remote Health, Australia. He is the co-chair of the FIKI Higher Education Committee for the year 2017-18. Uh, as a science administrator of uh, par excellence, Dr. Vinod Bhatt has been instrumental in establishing the Office of International Programs, which coordinates more than 200 academic linkages with universities abroad. Uh, he is closely associated with several new projects, uh, which is like the entry of Manipal into Sri Lanka, South Africa, and expansion, uh, other expansion of operations overseas. So uh, I would like to invite uh, Professor Vinod Bhatt to give his speech now. Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you, Anand. I hope I am audible. Yes, Ambassador sir. Adam Burkowski, Ambassador 
Thomas Lukasu, my friend Professor Jakub Zakowski, Professor Nanda Kishore, ladies and gentlemen. I am privileged to be a part of this distinguished gathering on the occasion of Polish Science Day, when we also introspect the Indo-Polish relationship, even as we contemplate the prospects of deeper engagement between our two countries. Heliocentricity, as was proposed by Aristarchus of Samos in the 3rd century BC, and by Aryabhata in the 6th century AD was not accepted by the world. And even challenging geocentricity was an anathema. There was an old Latin translation of Aryabhata's treatise, which had reached Europe by the 13th century. The question is not whether Copernicus read this book. The fact remains that Copernicus pursued this theory, proved it right, and changed the way we thought of science. In a way, Copernicus ushered in scientific renaissance. India's own National Science Day happens later this year, this month, on the 28th of February to be precise, and we celebrate when C. V. Raman discovered the Raman effect, the scatter effect of light in, in when it came in contact with solid molecules. And this was this happened on the 28th of February 1928, and for which he was given the Nobel Prize in 1930. And we celebrate this Discovery Day as India's Science Day on 28th of February. The, the fact that Poland is India's favored partner in Central, Asia, Central Europe, the fact that we are connected deeply by trade, commerce, import, export, I'm sure there'll be a lot more cerebral work which will be going on and discussed during the course of this meeting. But however, I would wish to highlight on a few things which perhaps link India and Poland. Somehow Poland seems to be in the middle of things and things are boiling in Europe. Many of the good things in Europe and in the world started in Poland. And Poland itself was the victim of many of the not so good things that happened in Europe. If you look at the way in which solidarity came up and then Lake Walesa did what he did for Poland, liberating it from uh, bringing in a change in regime. There was a time when it was even documented in way back in 1983, when the movie Gandhi was filmed across the world. Lake Valenza had written to Sir Richard Attenborough asking a few pointed questions about Gandhi and his own views. The, the role of Vatican, especially the diplomatic role of Vatican in ending the Cold War, and the fact that His Holiness, the Pope, John Paul II, was in Vatican at that time, and when the Cold War ended, is again something that is Poland's contribution to world peace. And again, if you have to look at the, the way in which the, the the entire landscape in Europe changed after whether it happened in Poland or in Germany or Russia and with so much of peace. It was only Gandhian. So I felt that there's, there's a very strong India connect in the way Poland approached the whole unfolding problems and finding solutions in Europe. Two countries can come together and work together and build deep relationships when vision and value systems are aligned. And I can see that between India and Poland. Vision tells us 
where we want to go and value systems tell us how we have to get there. The, we talk about the end and the means and this kind of synergy that we see between India and Poland, both in the vision and in the value systems, augurs well for this relationship going forward. In Manipal itself, I think uh, Professor Nanda Kishore talked about the way the Center for Polish and Central European Studies was set up and the activities that it has conducted in these last six or seven years. But I should also mention that there are things which are happening even outside geopolitics and international relationships. We have uh, <coughs> a business incubator in, in Manipal wherein there is a healthcare startup called Vicent Healthcare Private Limited. This entity has tied up with a Polish startup company called Remmed Global and they have there's al already been technology transfer. There is a product that has been developed for it's a virtual reality based game for therapy for children with ophthalmic problems. And this is expected to be released in the market very soon. In addition to that, there are two other products which are coming out of this collaboration. So I feel this level of collaboration between institutions, between incubators, between industry, and between two countries together is the way forward. And India and Poland, the regional leaders they are, have a lot of things in common, a lot of things to share, and a lot of things to show. I'm sure that in coming years, this relationship will go a long, long way. Thank you for inviting me, and I wish the event every success. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your valuable speech. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, Ambassador Adam Burakovsky to deliver his speech. Uh, but before that, uh, let me introduce him as well to the audience. Ambassador Adam Burakovsky is the Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Poland to India, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Maldives and Afghanistan. He is a PhD DSc in political science and the professor of the Institute of Political Science Studies of the Polish Academy of Sciences. He is a graduate of the Maharaja Jam Sahib Digvijay Singh Ji High School in Warsaw and University of Warsaw in MA in History as well as in Eastern Studies. During 2006 to 17, he worked in Polskie Radio, Polish National Radio, the Polish National Radio Broadcaster. He held various positions related to the international affairs. He was a Polish representative to the European Broadcasting Union, where he was the coordinator of the Central European, Central and Eastern European Group. Simultaneously, he was involved in Euronet, a pan-European radio project financed by the European Commission and established in 2007. Ambassador Borokovsky was involved in various projects of the Cold War International History Project of the Wilson Center for Scholars in Washington and has contributed to its publications. During his professional career, he cooperated with many academic institutions in India uh, and Romania, as well as in Czech Republic. He is also the author of many books concerning India and Central Europe, especially uh, Romania. And he's also a good friend of the Department of uh, Geopolitics, Mahe, the university as well. So I would like to invite uh, Ambassador Adam to speak, uh, to give his, to deliver his lecture. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. And uh, I would like to thank especially for the Center of uh, Polish and Central European Studies of the Department of Geopolitics and International Relations of uh, the Manipal Academy of Higher Education. 
and also the Institute of International Relations of the University of um, Warsaw that uh, came together to celebrate the uh, Polish Science Day uh, together with uh, Poland and India. Uh, actually, I'm a graduate uh, of the University of uh, Warsaw uh, and I visited uh, Manipal, so I know the, bo both the institutions and I'm very happy to um, be here. A special thanks um, to Dr. Nanda Kishore, who organized this meeting from the uh, Manipal side, and um, to uh, Professor Jakub Zajączkowski and Ambassador Tomasz Łukaszuk from the University of Warsaw, who made this um, possible from the uh, Polish uh, side. Um, I, when I visited the um, Manipal Academy of Higher Education, I met uh, there uh, Professor Arvind Kumar, uh, who created the Center for Polish and Central European uh, Studies, who is a very big uh, friend of Poland. And recently he moved to uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University in, uh, in uh, Delhi. But before that, he was awarded by um, a Polish uh, decoration called Benemerito for what uh, he did. Uh, to uh, establish this uh, Center for Polish and Central European Studies and uh, to raise the awareness of, um, of Poland in, uh, um, in India and especially in uh, Manipal Academy of Higher Education. Uh, it is also my pleasure to, um, to um, welcome the um, uh, teacher of uh, Polish language in Manipal the University Academy of Higher Education, Ms. Justyna Guziak, with whom we met uh, last week in uh, Bengaluru. Um, and uh, discuss the uh, cooperation. So, um, and uh, she will be uh, today uh, opening the, uh, the unit of uh, the uh, National uh, Agency uh, for Academic Exchange of, of Poland. Um, so, my congratulations. And uh, what is, I would like to say in a few words, uh, what is the current status of uh, Polish Indian Affairs, especially uh, in the terms of education? So, uh, just before COVID, uh, we launched uh, something that uh, uh, might uh, have been a new era of our um, our relations. Uh, I mean, we relaunched the um, the direct flight from Warsaw to Delhi, operated by a lot of Polish airlines, but unfortunately, it lasted only for half a year. Uh, because uh, then uh, COVID made it um, uh, impossible to uh, to fly, and then uh, still we are trying to uh, to re-establish it as, as soon as um, as possible, uh, and uh, to bring our countries uh, more closer to to each other. And uh, in this context, I would like to appreciate all the effort. Um, that um, has been uh, done by uh, both uh, Polish and Indian academic uh, researchers and um, lecturers uh, to inform about uh, our countries uh, both in India and in and in Poland. Uh, our academic exchange uh, um, with um, with India is growing, growing, but mainly into one direction. I mean, many. many uh, Indian uh, students are coming to Poland. Uh, still, the number of uh, Polish students coming to India is uh, uh, below our expectations and below our possibilities. But uh, I would like to express my gratitude to Manipal Academy of Higher Education that uh, um, uh, you are um, making it uh, possible for Polish uh, students to come there to make research, to um, meet new friends uh, from India and to um, uh, deepen their, their knowledge about your um, beautiful, uh, big and very important uh, country in the international relations. Poland and uh, India are natural allies because we uh, we uh, believe in the uh, same uh, values. Poland, as a member of the European Union, uh, believes in the democracy, stability, peace, and this is also these are also the values shared by uh, by India. <coughs> what we um, uh, really want to uh, do in the next um, months. Um, uh, is to slowly, slowly get out uh, from this uh, COVID uh, way of uh, thinking. Uh, I know that uh, India, uh, the situation in India is much more relaxed than uh, in Europe. The numbers are, um, are low in India. Um, everybody now meets everybody. Um, I met some people very recently that I haven't met for one year and, 
and uh, more. Um, so uh, the situation in India is uh, going better. I hope that is the same will happen in Europe uh, quite soon. And then we have, we can have um, next meetings, not online, but in person. Uh, I'm ready to come to Manipal at uh, any time uh, and um, participate in some um, events or uh, make uh, some presentation about uh, Poland to encourage the, the cooperation. Um, Poland um, also um, this week we, we celebrated the 30 years of the Visegrad group or V4, uh, which is in uh, Poland, uh, Czech Republic, uh, Slovakia and Hungary. Uh, the Visegrad Group is an important um, um, member of the European Union. And uh, we also would like to encourage this um, exchange um, with India. Uh, I know that uh, the uh, Institute of International Relations also has a very good uh, cooperation with other Visegrad um, partners. Um, also, uh, we would like to encourage the business uh, to uh, to cooperate, the Polish and Indian. Um, we are uh, will be making a series of uh, online B two B events. We started with uh, one about the um, uh, food uh, industry and uh, cooperation in agriculture. We'll be making uh, soon some uh, other events on different uh, other different uh, topics. So. Uh, just before COVID, our um, mutual uh, exchange uh, was around uh, three billion dollars. Because of COVID, it fell down a little bit, but we uh, have uh, plans to, uh, and we hope to uh, increase it uh, quite uh, soon. Uh, so thank you very much for this invitation. Hope to see you uh, next time in person, and uh, I will be more than happy to um, co-organize and to help to organize the mutual uh, visits of uh, the University of Warsaw and the Manipal Academy of uh, Higher Education. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, now I would like to pass the floor uh, to uh, Mr. Tomasz Łukaszuk, my predecessor at this uh, um, place, the former ambassador of uh, Poland to India. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, thank you, Ambassador. Uh, I would just uh, like to introduce the next speaker, Ambassador Tomasz Łukaszuk. Uh, he is a former ambassador of Poland to India and a member of the Faculty of Political Science and International Studies at the University of Warsaw. Uh, he worked in uh, Polish foreign, foreign Service for 25 years until 2017, serving in Norway, Indonesia, Singapore, East Timor, India, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and Maldives. His fieldwork experience in diplomacy also includes two years as a Deputy Joint Secretary and two years as a Joint Secretary of Asia and the Pacific Department at the Polish Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Being the Joint Secretary, he prepared Asia and the Pacific Forum concept to more in-depth cooperation and coordination of the most important scientific and research centers for Asian studies in Poland. He supported Polish universities and think tanks in developing their contacts and links with Asian partners in most essential areas vital for developing their cooperation. He represented Poland at various conferences on maritime issues, environment, Afghanistan, Afghanistan-Pakistan International Co Contract Group, and ASM, preparing several papers as well as reports. His areas of expertise are integration process in South and Southeast Asia, Indonesian and Indian external and foreign policy, internal and foreign policy, etc. At present, he is the uh, participant of the Mary Sklodowska Curie uh, European Training Networks Global India. His research interests are regionalism and the inter regional cooperation in the Bay of Bengal countries and maritime strategies of the biggest littoral countries of the Indian Ocean. Uh, uh, Indian Ocean members of the international he's also a member of the international studies association in this regard so with this uh, i would like to uh, invite ambassador tomas to give to deliver his speech uh, ambassador can you please unmute yourself 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Professor. Yes, uh, so Ambassador um, Ambassador Borakowski, dear friends uh, from uh, from Manipal, uh, especially Professor Nanda Kishore. Thank you, thank you very much uh, for for this great honor opportunity to meet you once again. But uh, as Ambassador Burakowski said, I mean, unfortunately, online uh, we are uh, we are friends, and and uh, I, I visited uh, I, I to visit Manipal. It was not only one day, but it was the whole week, and and I really uh, was impressed. Uh, referring uh, referring to the. To the words of, of uh, uh, Ambassador Adam uh, about about the exchange, uh, certainly the exchange and the, the, the exchange of the students, especially the, the number of students uh, coming from Poland. Uh, for, from my perspective, is uh, is uh, really essential because because uh, you know uh, as. Uh, uh, as as uh, you mentioned this, I, I was um, I, I was ambassador before. I also I was uh, joint secretary at the ministry. So to to my my uh, my colleagues at the ministry, I was always saying that being joint secretary, being ambassador, you always to have to think about your successors. You have to prepare your successors. So uh, by exchange of the students, we have to prepare our successors. And this, it, this, uh, it, it should be our our heritage. It should be, it sh should be the one of the uh, most Im important tasks uh, tasks for us. Not only developing ourselves, but also uh, thinking about our successes. So we we should not create a generation gap, uh, not only in academics, but also what Ambassador uh, Adam Borakowski mentioned about the business. Uh, and and diplomacy, we we should have the successors in all these areas. I mean the uh, experts on on India. So without exchange, without the visits of Polish students to Manipal University or other universities in India, we will not have the successors. So we, the next generation uh, will not be privileged to have so many experts. Uh, on on uh, on India and Indian uh, subcontinents. Uh, so please please uh, help us, and uh, this also uh, is important uh, task uh, not only for our both universities but also for Nava. Which I'm grateful that Nava decided uh, to boost the, the cooperation uh, with uh, with India. Polish Polish agency for 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 students exchange is an important partner for also for University of Warsaw. So please please uh, the, please uh, help us just to 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 build up this the, the next generation uh, uh, of of uh, Polish scientists uh, specialized in Indian uh, affairs. Uh, speaking about the uh, speaking about building the next generation, so certainly the 21st century generation in Poland uh, is already in the European Union, and and European Union itself is also very very important part of uh, of the story of our cooperation uh, for. Uh, for uh, as as Ambassador Adam said about the V4 uh, V4 meeting and our presidency Polish presidency in V4. So uh, Jean Michel, uh, the president of the European Union, he participated in a V4 meeting. Uh, so it was also a, a very very Im important uh, signal that that uh, Europe. It's not only the European Union. Uh, as general, because the, the strength of the Europe is in the regions like uh, the, the Central Europe V4 group or the group of Scandinavian countries or group of uh, Belgium, Netherlands, or Luxembourg. This is about the, the, the South, it's about the West and about the North. So it's uh, this uh, trans trans regional cooperation is very important. So I think that uh, V4 is also uh, the institution which have its own foundation uh, uh, for scientific research, and I think we also can can use uh, can use it for our purposes. I mean, to to boost the cooperation uh, between Manipal and University of uh, University uh, of Warsaw. 
the last uh, summit uh, of the European Union uh, and uh, and India uh, taken place in 2020. 2020, uh, unfortunately, online as well. Uh, so uh, it's uh, uh, it's stress that the, the the importance of of strengthening the partnership, strategic partnership. Uh, for, uh, Naren Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he emphasized once again uh, the significance of uh, of uh, European Union as uh, an important element of this also of the, the, the foreign policy of India and also the strategy of India for development, uh, economic development, poverty eradication programs and what, what, what he emphasized also the transfer of technology. We will not have a proper transfer of technology, we will not have a proper, proper scientific, scientific uh, cooperation without also our contribution. So it's also very uh, very important uh, from 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 uh, from European Union uh, side. Uh, Jean -Michel, Jean -Michel, President Jean Michel uh, also said that uh, we have we have not only let's say our common interests in trade or, or po politics as as uh, let's say India as the biggest democracy in the world and the European Union as the biggest democratic institution uh, in, in in the world uh, but we have also our uh, our common values uh, common values uh, which uh, uh, should uh, play a very important uh, role uh, facing uh, the international uh, international order nowadays uh, when uh, the uh, the rise of china this is uh, not the uh, no longer uh, the the topic for the scientific research is a real reality of international order and uh, china uh, it's not only about the uh, the Ch chinese uh, chinese taken taken uh, the the first place in the world economy this is also about the model of development this is about also the placing of norms in in the world so uh, both india and the european union would like uh, would like to to have uh, this uh, rule based uh, international order and uh, wouldn't like to have uh, the, the situation also in maritime Issues uh, like it uh, happened in uh, South uh, South China uh, Sea, in, uh, so for both for India and uh, for the European Union. So the European, the United Nations uh, is an important institution. Uh, India is now in the non-permanent member of the Security Council, and uh, for us in the European Union, it's also important to cooperate. Uh, with uh, India uh, and uh, to put on the agenda of the Security Council all the all the important issues uh, which we have uh, uh, in in uh, common uh, interest. Uh, so uh, speaking about the current situation, we we should not uh, forget about the pandemia and the the. Uh, Ursula von der Leyen and Jean Michel uh, also uh, are grateful uh, to India for uh, the contribution of India to uh, to uh, fight against uh, COVID-19. Uh, this is a global issue, and it should not be uh, used uh, uh, by uh, by countries uh, by many countries uh, for. Uh, attaining the goals and uh, struggling about against the democratic international uh, order. Uh, so that's why uh, under pandemia uh, the cooperation uh, is uh, between the European Union and India is even uh, more important uh, than uh, than uh, before uh, as we as we know, the, 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 there is a cooperation 
uh, not only in uh, in uh, health healthcare and and uh, the the uh, medical studies, but also the production, the production of uh, pharmaceuticals and vaccines. And um, uh, speaking about it, uh, the pharmaceuticals, the pharmaceutical sector uh, was uh, one uh, of the sectors hampering the the, the trade, uh, the trade negotiations uh, about FDA between uh, between India and the European Union. So. Uh, hopefully, uh, the decision makers in Bra both in Brussels and New Delhi they uh, now uh, will reconsider uh, their uh, opinions and their, their positions. Uh, because if we the, the, the pandemic and the crisis uh, so uh, hopefully made made, made uh, them realize uh, that. Uh, and uh, in the in the situations uh, like 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 the current one, we can find uh, uh, we can find compromise and we can we can cooperate also in the pharmaceutical sector. So if we can co cooperate in pharmaceutical sector uh, under pandemia, so we should also have a common language uh, uh, while negotiating uh, FDA and. Uh, Looking at what what China did, I mean RCP, uh, our, especially RCP and free trade agreement uh, between uh, Southeast Asia and Northeast Asia. So we we should uh, really uh, speed up uh, the the talks about uh, FTA and sectoral agreements should be uh, should be negotiated uh, and uh, signed as uh, soon as possible. Because without it, we will 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 have uh, China prevailing more and more uh, in in global trade and also in uh, building uh, new norms of the international order. And this it would be a, against the interests uh, uh, both uh, the European Union and India. So uh, oh, I would like with this with this uh, note uh, would like to end uh, uh, my presentation and uh, I once again thank you thank you very much uh, uh, Professor Kish uh, yes uh, Kishor for for uh, organizing it uh, and uh, now the screen. Uh, goes to the, uh, to Manipal. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ambassador. And thank you for that speech. Uh, and next, uh, I would like to invite Professor Jakub Sajanskowski uh, to deliver his speech. Professor Jakub is a well-known uh, face in at the Department of Geopolitics, a very close friend of us. Uh, he is the head of the Department of uh, Area and Global Studies, the Faculty of Political Science and International Studies at the University of Warsaw. Uh, he is also the Dean's representative for uh, international cooperation and research programs in the university. During 2016-19, he was the director of the Institute of International Relations, University of Warsaw and the chair of the Pacific section of the institute. Uh, he has been with the faculty member of the University of Warsaw since 2007 and during 2012-16 he was the deputy director at the Institute of International Relations for Research and Academic Cooperation and a coordinator of a EU, EU project entitled Center for Contemporary India Research and Studies. So he is one of those uh, uh, academic figures in Poland who has been deeply engaged in uh, promoting India studies in Poland. Since 2017, he has been a coordinator at the University of Warsaw of, of an EU funded project, the which it is titled Explaining Global India, a multi sectoral PhD training program analyzing the emergence of India as a global actor. Uh, he is a coordinator of a grant from the Polish Ministry of Foreign Affairs and uh, which was entitled the Center for Polish and Central European Studies at the Asian Universities, co-founded by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Poland. He is a remarkable scholar who has authored over 50 publications 
and has uh, co-authored several books. So without further delay, I would like to invite Professor Yakub to deliver his speech. Professor Yakub, you can go ahead. Good, uh, good afternoon, good morning. Uh, it is great pleasure and the honor for me to to take part in today's event and I'm very, very happy to meet all my friends, colleagues uh, from Manipal Academy of Higher Education. And uh, let me at the beginning put a stress that uh, uh, for our faculty, Faculty of Political Science and International Studies, uh, University of Warsaw, for University of Warsaw, Manipal Academy of Higher Education is a strategic key partner and we are very happy that we could cooperate with, uh, with Manipal Academy of Higher Education, especially with the uh, Department of Geopolitics and the International Relations. So on behalf of uh, the Dean of the Faculty of Political Science and International uh, Faculty of uh, Political Science and International Studies, Professor um, Daniel Pfastek. I would like to underline that we are very, very happy that we could cooperate with you and we are going uh, to strengthen this uh, cooperation uh, in the next uh, next years. We would like uh, um, to underline that we are very interested uh, to maintain and to strengthen uh, academic uh, cooperation with uh, Manipal Academy of uh, Higher Education, especially Department of uh, Geopolitics and, uh, um, and the International Relations. Um, I would like, uh, uh, taking uh, this opportunity, I would like uh, uh, to, uh, to thank uh, very much uh, to to send great thanks to all our friends, partners who help um, who help us in the last 10 years to set up and uh, to develop uh, uh, our partnership with uh, Manipal Academy of Higher Education. In this context, uh, I would like uh, to thank uh, authorities of uh, um, Manipal Academy of Higher Education uh, for supporting us in, in, in developing this cooperation, especially I would like to, to thank uh, Professor Vinod Bhatt, uh, Vice President of, of, uh, of um, um, uh, Academy. I met the first time Professor Bhatt uh, 11 years ago in 2010 and since 2010 he fully supported um, us in, in our cooperation. So great, great thanks. Of course, great thanks to Professor Arvind Kumar, uh, who, um, support, who, who supported and who was uh, the father of this uh, cooperation between um, our faculty and the Department of uh, Geopolitics uh, and International Relations. So great thanks to Professor Kumar. And of course, uh, I would like to thank Professor Nanda Kishore who support, uh, who supports now, but also who supported for many years together with Professor Kumar our, our, our cooperation. Uh, thanks to um, Professor Nanda Kishore, now um, we could uh, um, we could uh, meet, we could uh, develop um, our cooperation. Uh, so without a great support of uh, Professor Nanda Kishore, uh, Professor Kumar, uh, we would not achieve what we achieve uh, uh, till now. So great thanks, uh, professors, for your for your um, support. And uh, in this uh, context, I would like also to thank uh, Polish embassy, Polish embassy of uh, the ambassadors, uh, the people who were uh, who were working and who works uh, at the Polish embassy. Uh, thanks to Polish uh, embassy, we could also um, develop uh, our cooperation with the Manipal um, Academy of Higher Education, and we had uh, this support since. 
2010, from the beginning of our cooperation, we could have, we, we have, we had a big support from Minister of Foreign Affairs, from the Polish Embassy, and great thanks, great thanks to to, Amba, to Professor Adam Burakowski, Ambassador of Poland to India, who always supported us in in the, in 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 the co in support our cooperation between our faculty and the, and and the, and Department of Geopolitics and. The, International Relations and the Manipal Academy of Higher Education. I I would like also to I would like to also to to thank and I would like to underline that our faculty has also a very good cooperation with NAVA and we are very happy that today NAVA open virtual. Um, virtual uh, um, uh, information office, uh, and um, uh, we would like to support and uh, um, and we would like to cooperate still with uh, Nava. As I said, we had always big support from Nava, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and we would like to continue the cooperation, very close cooperation with uh, with uh, Nava. And uh, one more thing I would like to underline because. Uh, it was a lot about uh, cooperation between the University of Warsaw, our faculty with the Manipal Academy of Higher Education. But what was the one of the features of our cooperation in the last 10 years was, was the fact that we tie and um, we always cooperate with another partners from, uh, from Poland. Um, we try to engage our friends, colleagues uh, from uh, over universities in Poland in cooperation with, uh, with uh, Manipal, and also uh, colleagues from different uh, faculties, department at the uh, University of Warsaw. And in this context, uh, I would like um, uh, to, um, uh, to, uh, to thank uh, very much uh, Professor Piotr Kajak, uh, Deputy Director of um, of, uh, of Polonicum, and uh, we started we started our cooperation between Polonicum and the faculty in the context of Manipal six um, six seven years ago when uh, Piotr took part uh, as a representative of uh, Polonicum in in a um, project funded uh, by Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, and uh, and um, and. Uh, we wanted uh, to underline that not only we would like to develop a knowledge about uh, IR um, uh, between uh, Poland and, and India, we would not like uh, only focus uh, limited to, to discuss about foreign policy um, uh, business. It is very important, but we always underline that uh, culture, Polish language is uh, a, a key element in in building uh, bridges uh, between Poland and uh, and uh, in India and uh, uh, I'm very happy I'm very happy that uh, that um, and I, I'm very grateful uh, uh, Piotr for for supporting us and uh, we hope we will continue uh, our cooperation uh, in the context of of uh, um, of a partnership with. Uh, Manipal Academy of Higher Education, and I'm. I would like um, to say that I'm very happy that uh, also we have a Polish uh, language teacher um, supported by Nava, uh, Madame Justyna um, um, Guziak, and uh, we would like to underline that we would be very, very happy uh, together with uh, Polonicum, together with um, <laughs> Director Kajak. To, to support and to organize a lot of joint events. Um, center and the Department of Languages at Manipal University, of course, together with our natural, natural um, partner, Department of Geopolitics and International Relations and Professor Nanda Kishwa.
one more thing um, before I, I before I, I will tell few words uh, about um, about um, um, our scientific academic cooperation between our faculty and department. As I said, uh, I would like to underline that in last ten years we try to engage also um, in our cooperation our friends, colleagues from universities from different universities in in in, in Poland and uh, during the um, several projects funded by Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, we engaged uh, our colleagues partners from uh, Jagiellonian University uh, from uh, Gdańsk uh, from uh, Lublin uh, from um, uh, from uh, Wrocław and also from uh, um, I think uh, from Poznan, uh, and that's why I'm very happy that uh, today, um, today, Manipal University uh, will sign a memorandum of understanding uh, with um, Adam Mickiewicz uh, University. Uh, and in this context, uh, um, I, I would like to underline that our faculty also has a very, very close and very good cooperation with the Faculty of Political Science and the, um, and the journalism at the, at, the, uh, at Adam Mickiewicz University. So as uh, as you see, um, uh, we we are not by accident today. Definitely because we started we started um, very close cooperation with Manipal eleven years um, ago, and um, when some. Uh, uh, colleagues ask me why we started uh, this cooperation uh, with uh, India. Why India is uh, um, important uh, uh, for European Union and for Poland? It is, uh, of course, we could uh, start a debate um, and uh, and um, and a seminar on this issue, but uh, the time is very limited. But uh, I would like to underline that especially in the context of transformation of international order in Asia Pacific, a power shift in, in IR, in Asia in the Pacific is more and more important um, uh, um, 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 player of course in, in, in IR and especially um, 15 years um, ago, 12 years ago, uh, it was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, contacts uh, between uh, scholars from Europe and uh, and uh, from um, uh, from um, uh, India, but I think it was general. It was uh, some kind of uh, lack of uh, um, maybe not lack, but a deficit of um, a deficit of information on contemporary India, on contemporary Europe, on contemporary Central Europe. Uh, on contemporary Poland uh, and uh, and uh, the knowledge um, uh, about contemporary business politics uh, um, uh, mutual understanding of uh, trends uh, um, uh, in in Poland uh, in Central Europe in, in India uh, was um, uh, was uh, quite uh, limited but uh, I'm very optimistic because when you look at uh, what happened in the last uh, 10, 12 years, you know, and universities in the context of different European Union programs. We, and in this context, I would like to underline that University of Warsaw and, and the Manipal Academy of Higher Education took part in several Erasmus Mundus projects. Erasmus Mundus project and uh, I think um, Erasmus Mundus uh, uh, project was a uh, uh, very, very uh, successful instrument of European Union in, in strengthening uh, in cooperation, academic cooperation between uh, um, uh, European, uh, uh, Polish um, uh, and Indian uh, universities. As I said, uh, um, <coughs> Uh, in in the context of our faculty, faculty of uh, political science and uh, international studies, and department of geopolitics and the international relations, since 2010 we took a part uh, in in, uh, in one uh, European Union funded project, uh, and Manipal was uh, one of the key partner. It was 
um, the Center for Contemporary India Research and the Studies uh, um, project, and uh, and uh, this project lasts for two years. And uh, later, uh, as I said, uh, we took part with uh, Manipal, uh, Union, uh, Manipal Academy of Higher Education in two or three uh, Erasmus Mundus uh, projects. So we were very active in the uh, European uh, um, uh, European Union uh, project. We set up, um, and it is a, a, a I think, a great, a great um, achievement and um, success of both uh, sides. Um, also, thanks to great support of Minister of Foreign Affairs, thanks to support of Polish Embassy, we set up a Center for Polish and Central European Studies at Manipal University in, in 2013. And, uh, we took part uh, with our partner, uh, with the Department of Geopolitics, uh, with um, two uh, projects which were funded uh, by Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, in 2015 and 2016. And I would like to underline that it is not only on the paper, it is not only cooperation uh, which is on the paper, but it's a real, a real, um, a real cooperation. And um, I could say that since 2010, we sent, we sent um, as a faculty to Manipal um, over 40, uh, 40, um, 40 students, and we are very grateful uh, authorities of. Uh, Manipal Academy of Higher Education. We are very grateful. Our colleagues, friends from Department of Geopolitics, for great, for great support in this context because we sent, as I said, over 40, 45 students for one semester to to Manipal, and some of them, some of them now. Uh, worked uh, work uh, today in uh, Nava, and uh, one of them um, in uh, Nava focus also on 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 India. And as um, uh, Ambassador Ukafuk has um, said, I think it is very very important, especially in the context of strengthening of of our relations, um, to support and. Uh, um, to support exchange of uh, students. Since 2010, we hosted also um, uh, several uh, MA and the PhD students, some uh, master and the PhD students um, uh, took opportunity and uh, they were funded by Erasmus uh, Mundus um, project. I think we hosted over 10 or um, 10 students um, and uh, since 2000, uh, in 10 we we send it um, we send it for one week two weeks uh, professor scholars from our faculty i think uh, since 2010 we send over 20 um, scholars um, from our faculty and over 15 scholars from different uh, departments and uh, universities in uh, in uh, poland and we hosted we hosted um, a, a lot of scholars uh, um, from uh, from Manipal, and as um, as uh, as um, Ambassador Burakowski mentioned, um, very active um, um, uh, and very engaged in in this process of cooperation was Professor uh, Professor Arvind um, Arvind Kumar, who was who was. Um, um, several times uh, in in Warsaw, giving a lot of lectures to students, um, uh, taking part in, in a lot of uh, uh, seminar, and uh, we hope that uh, we'll see uh, soon uh, Professor Nanda Kishore, who uh, from the beginning, who was uh, who was very very engaged in in our cooperation. So great thanks also Nanda for your great uh, uh, great support. So as I said, um, to conclude, I think uh, um, I think education, uh, academic exchange, is a real opportunity, a real instrument uh, in 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 developing um, uh, 
cooperation between uh, uh, Poland and India. Uh, because, as I said, uh, I think what is the most important now it is mutual understanding. Mutual understanding. Why today? Why today? In cooperation, um, not only in business, not only uh, in joy economic, but also in job politics. Why uh, um, uh, Europe need? Uh, in India, why Central Europe need India, why India need Central Europe, why India need Poland, and um, so mutual understanding um, uh, is is uh, very important. And in this context, in this context, I think uh, in, uh, academic cooperation between um, our um, faculty and the um, Department of Geopolitics with a great support of uh, Polish Embassy, with NAVA, with our partners, colleagues uh, from Polonicum, but also with, uh, from different universities, are very, very uh, important. Without a holistic approach, uh, it will be difficult uh, to achieve uh, all um, um, economic uh, political goals, but uh, I think the last, uh, last uh, a uh, few years, as I said, uh, could be the best uh, evidence that uh, we could uh, cooperate uh, together, together between different universities, different departments, and also with uh, with um, partner with external uh, stakeholders. We we have a very very good cooperation uh, with uh, Polish Airlines a lot, and we took part. Uh, also with this inauguration flight from Warsaw to Delhi and I hope that we will be able to make joint events joint events with our partners, external stakeholders will be able to make a joint event very soon, not only webinar, but we will meet will uh, meet uh, uh, live uh, live um, and um, face to face um, uh, very soon and uh, we will make a lot of joint um, events once again on behalf of uh, dean of the faculty of political science and international studies and from my side great thanks to all partners to all people who are very engaged in our um, cooperation uh, nanda great thanks uh, Professor Kifor, great thanks for 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 supporting uh, and uh, um, our cooperation. Uh, uh, thanks uh, to authorities of uh, Manipal Academy of Higher Education, and of course, great thanks uh, to to Polish ambassador uh, Professor Adam Burakowski. Um, uh, and uh, without his support, uh, we would not um, achieve a lot of uh, things and uh, I would like one sentence to underline because maybe I didn't tell this directly before um, Professor um, Adam Burakowski um, became uh, ambassador, Polish ambassador to India. He also supported uh, us uh, since 2010. Uh, he supported uh, our activity, uh, academic activity in in uh, India. So once again, uh, great thanks, and I'm very and I would like to congratulate my colleagues uh, from Poznan, and I'm very happy that today, today it will be next agreement memorandum of um, understanding between um, uh, Manipal and uh, and the Poznan, and uh, great um, congratulations uh, to Adam Stuczynski and the opening uh, over from NAVA and uh, I'm very happy that uh, you open this virtual uh, NAVA information office and uh, also I um, I would like to, to underline that uh, with Adam Stuczynski we had also um, uh, very long um, uh, cooperation and the great thanks uh, uh, for for your um, support. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your speech. And I think with that we have uh, come to the end of this event. But nevertheless, uh, I think going by all the speeches, it looks like it is going to be actually a starting point of a reinvigorated, uh, a very uh, intensified and expanded cooperation between 
both Mahi and uh, uh, University of Warsaw, as well as between India and Poland in this regard. Uh, so thank you all. I would like to uh, thank all of the indi individually all of the speakers uh, in this event, including uh, Dr. Vinod Bhatt, Adam uh, Ambassador Adam Burakovsky, Ambassador Tomas Vukashuk, as well as uh, Professor Yakub Sajanskomsky for giving their uh, viewpoints and uh, their speeches uh, about this the, the future cooperation which we are likely to go ahead with. And uh, I would also like to give, uh, thank especially Dr. Nankishor sir for uh, uh, for organizing this uh, event. And uh, I would also like to express my thanks to all the audience, all the members of the audience who have turned out and uh, especially the students of uh, uh, geopolitics department as well as members from the Mahe uh, in other Mahe institutions uh, as well as uh, those from Poland as well. So with that I would like to uh, thank everyone and wish you uh, and until we meet again uh, though with Xenia. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.